Hello everybody, happy Friday. Today is the last shopping haul that I'm gonna do for you this year. I am done, I'm not spending any more money at the grocery until the new year. Um, so I did it, I stayed within my $400 budget. I have just a couple dollars left. Um, it's $2 and some change. And that's a run out and get a loaf of bread or something like that if needed. Um, but yeah, I did it. So that's two months that I did stay in my $400 budget. Um, real quick, um, just to, to clarify, I have a food storage. <laughs> so some of you still say, how are you doing the cookies, the candy making I'm gonna do this weekend. How do I do that on $400 a month? I always have a food storage, about six months worth of um, baking needs, anything that I can need for baking. So baking soda, baking powder, flour, sugar, all that stuff, rice, oats. Um, you'll see though this time I did buy a couple oats because I used the last of my quick cooking oats. So you will see the beginning of January, I'm gonna have to stock some of that back up. So the beginning of my $400 haul is gonna definitely be buying some stuff like flour and sugar and such to stock up. So without gabbing too much, let's go into real quick what I got today. Okay, so I'm gonna start showing you guys what I got at Meyer. I got very little. Um, they did have powdered sugar marked down in their marked down bin for $1.13. It was actually cheaper than what I was paying at Aldi, um, but I went there second, so I only got two. Their Oscar Mayer bacon was buy one get one free, so I was able to get that. I have a little imitation vanilla, and I was able to get some chicken breasts for $9.17. They were $1.99 a pound, so I was okay with that. I got sweet potatoes. There is six of them here. They were 47 cents each. I got a, another ham. I'm gonna go on and cook that today and then put it away for ham sandwiches so that it's our lunch meat. I got that for 10.04. They still had hams on sale. And then I got two bags of grapefruit because Kate has been asking for grapefruit and they had them buy one get one free so I got two bags. Then I got some salad to eat over the next couple days. Sunflower Crunch. We really liked that last time we had it. They had a Endless Summer, which is one I think Charles will actually like. It has Swiss cheese, sunflower seeds, romaine lettuce, red cabbage, a summer vinaigrette, herbs, spices, croutons, and carrots. And then an Ultimate Caesar, which is always good. So we are going to be eating on that. All right, that's it for Meyer. Okay, so the total from Meyer was $35.53. Remember, I had a $10 off that I got um, coupon the week before. If you guys watched last week's haul, so I got $10 off that. And then because I used my M perks, I got $2 also off my cart. Um, if you don't have Meyer, Meyer is only, I think, in six states, is what it says. It's kind of a cross or in between a Walmart and a Target is kind of how I would classify it. It's a little bit higher up quality than Walmart, a little bit lower quality than like a Target. Um, they always have great meat, uh, meat prices. Always, they always have. Um, so that's why I've always liked to get my meat and stuff from there. Okay, moving on to Aldi. Okay guys, this is what I got from Aldi. So I'm just gonna kinda start with my list here. I got white bread for 95 cents each, quick oats, I got two of those for $2.49 a piece. Sliced pepperoni was also $2.49 a piece. I got three of those. We like to have those when we're doing um, pizza and it's one of the foods Luke likes to eat. Marchino cherries were $2.29 a piece. I got those for uh, making candies this weekend. I found this holiday tea candy cane. I thought that was kind of festive and fun. It was $2.29. Powdered sugar. I got four of them. They were $1.49 a piece. If I had known that I could have got them at um, Meyer cheaper, I definitely would have done that. 
I wanted to get six. I had only got four, so I ended up finding them cheaper at Walmart and got two more. So I still ended up with six. And that is for candy making as well. Aluminum foil, $3.29. I did get two of those. Um, cola. I got two two liters. Cola has gone up to $1.15 a two liter. And that is for Christmas time because I'm not going back to the store. French toast sticks are $2.99. That's just something that Theo and Luke like as a treat. So I got them that as we're going to be doing all kind of fun stuff this week for Christmas. Um, and then I got some girl products. Some Homestyle waffles are $1.99. The 10 pound bag of potatoes back here is just russet potatoes. They were $5.49. Half and half. Um, that was $2.65. I got pretzels. They were $1.78. I got three frozen orange juice because we like to have orange juice when everybody's going to be home for a few days. I want to do the big breakfast orange juice, bacon, and all that. That's why I got the bacon and the orange juice. And that's $1.49 a piece. I got a mozzarella and a shark cheddar. Those were $1.99. Because we're in a pinch with money, the shark cheddar. You can use less cheese and get the same kind of flavor, so I prefer to go with sharp, sharp when we are on a tight budget right now. Um, the cheese melt. I got the Velveeta, their brand of kind of like a Velveeta cheese. That was $4.79, and that is for some casseroles just for the holidays. Again, not something I normally buy except for holiday time. Golden Realms, which are like the Ritz crackers. That was a $2.19. Saltines were $1.29. I got a box of saltines. And then bananas were $1.05 for the bananas. And that's it. That brought my total to $76.71 for my shopping trip at Aldi. All right, so my total at Aldi was $76.71. So that left me, that's a little over $112, which left me with, I have about $2 left. And that's it for my budget. <laughs> that's it, I'm done. But I have plenty of food here to make and to keep us fed on, like I said, through to the new year. And at the beginning of the year, you guys are going to share with you our new budget. So you don't want to miss that. What is our budget for 2023? We will continue with $400 in groceries. This month um, and last month, though, I did add household items to that. I am not doing that next year. I'm going to up that to $500. $400 still just for the grocery side of things, the food but then $100 set aside for the household items, so to get things like cleaning supplies or toiletries and that type of stuff. So I am gonna up that, and that is the plan to keep that budget and that number throughout the year. In the summer, it will be very easy because we grow a lot of our own produce, um, which is something that I spend a lot of money on, and so, it, it won't be as hard then as it will be say in the winter so all right that being said you guys that's it i'm gonna do a bunch of candy making tomorrow so i will have that up for you guys hopefully on sunday or monday it just kind of depends on how the weekend goes and then we're almost to christmas <laughs> i can't even believe it hopefully you guys are all done with your shopping i wrapped up all of mine this weekend so hopefully you guys did too also yes we did by doing this, by doing the cuts. Um, we also cut out things like getting Christmas pajamas we didn't do this year. Uh, Charles and I are not getting each other gifts. We dropped down the amount we allowed per child for gift, but we still pulled off a wonderful year of, of Christmas. Everybody's gonna love their gifts. We got everything everybody wanted, and it should be a wonderful Christmas. So pat on the back we are very proud of ourselves because we were able to pull it off and stick to our budget during this holiday season all right we will see you guys uh in just a couple days thank you so much for watching i hope you guys have a great day or night wherever you are bye buddy